Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to episode 15 of the Ultima RTG. And last night, I saw the light. I made a discovery. What I was able to do with a silver team in Division 1 has made me realize that one of the reasons why we're not playing well isn't because of the team necessarily, it's me. And it's how I'm using it. I'm trying to expect way too much from these players right now on the ball. I'm doing way too much in the attack with the step overs. Keep it simple, pass it around. And the mindset, the calmness, and what I was able to achieve with one of the worst teams that you're going to see. I played four games in Division 1. I won one, I drew two, and then I lost one. And I was coming up against Mbappe, Neymar. You know the deal when you're playing in rivals. And I couldn't even manage a draw with my goal squad. It's all about mindset and how you're playing this game. Trust me. And if you didn't see, um, we had a Silver Stars objective. Uh, Vizra came out and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that EA are doing right now. They've already showed their intention with the Silver, I guess, tournaments. But it's not exactly a tournament. It's just a live foot friendly. But at least those of you that are fans of Silver cards and Bronze cards eventually, uh, you're going to be able to get some use out of them. So I played foot friendlies, I got this man, and then I jumped into some Division 1 games, and then I worked towards all of this. So not only do we have our Division Rival rewards, but I've got a rare mega pack here that I'm going to claim. I've got four packs that I will take untradeable, and the reason why is we need c contracts anyway, consumables will be helpful, and then for just this week, I, I just want to hope and pray that I do pull something really, really nice. It's due. We are needing something come on ea but the silver team that i did use in division one you're probably thinking it's got a lot of pace I, I, I don't ask right so you know how i defend and you know how i attack how the hell have we been able to manage to take this team in division one and keep a really really good defense i don't know look at this 60 sorry 60 59 pace 150 coins. This man alongside him, 75 pace, 83 pace, uh, 79, 73, 70, 81. This card here was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Cavallini, he was uh, banging them in. So before we go into the packs and uh, what I've got today, uh, I'm going to show you some highlights of the goals and maybe uh, how I was building up as well. Some of this might not even lead to a goal, but I just want to show you like the difference and how I was approaching the game, just passing it around. And, and even when, like, let's say there was an option in a striker position, instead of forcing the ball and then really playing him into trouble, I was thinking a little bit more like, Maybe I should just pass it back and wait for a bit more support around him before I start fizzing it into his feet. Whereas with the gold team, I just like try and do too much on my own. And then before I know it, I'm running into traffic, overturning possession and getting caught on the brakes. And that's why I concede a lot of goals with the gold team because I'm losing the ball way too much. But anyway, if you're enjoying this series, um, if you can support today's video by leaving a like um, and if you want to drop a comment and let me know what you got from your rewards, I really do hope that you pull something amazing. Uh, EA have been a bit stingy with the pat luck recently, so fingers crossed for you guys and myself. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're wanting game codes, G2A, link below, and use that code Fuji. All right, so enjoy some of these goals I scored with this silver team. It's all flashing. Uh, they're out of contract. And then we've got the juicy part of today's video. So see you in a second and enjoy these clips. I was just looking at Neymar. What is that team? Oh, let's go. Yo, Mbappe. What are you saying now? Are you trying to are you trying to score against my keeper, yeah? Maybe we need a little bit of support here. Sean Davis. I love the cam. I do love a cam. Oh! 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 Oh my god. Yeah, I've got to celebrate, boys. I've got to celebrate. Vidra. Oh, yo, this silver. He's a beast. Let's go, boys. What rank you at, Fuj? I'm in Division 1. Any tips? Um, patience at the back. Do what I don't do. Stop rushing your players out. Bang! Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Good positioning though. 
Maybe we'll have to try these tactics out with the other team. Just very nice and balanced. What a ball. Go on, Vidra. I need a goal with you. Okay, I'll, I'll take the assist, though. Good. The dribbling on his card. Is... He scored. He scored. He scored. That's, that's the overpowered meta. Finding those shots back across goal. After one of those games, I had some cheeky sod message me some abuse. The cheek. The audacity. To message me when I was using the silver team, just minding my own business, working towards the objectives, and he was trying to take me out. Oh, nah, that's not right. But let's claim uh, the Silver Beast uh, objectives. We've got our 75 plus player packs, and we've also got, well, oh, we've got four of them. You never know. I might hit something out of that, but the rare mega pack is definitely something that did interest me. Um, there is a reason why you achieve it for rank two. So from the rival rewards, we are going to be taking untradeable. So we have two rare mega packs, two mega packs, and go from there. Now, the team that you would have seen in the last episode, I've pretty much got most of it. Um, I did sell on Zaha. Now, uh, some of the decisions that I made was not knowing really what was going wrong. And the problem that I found myself in is I was buying and selling players and I was trying to fix something that wasn't exactly broken it was the way i was using the team and that's on me and a mistake was made zaha i don't mind on the ball but i don't really love him in a right mid position i've got to be honest i think his work rates and stuff uh, I, I don't i don't really want to be using that in the weekend league uh felipe anderson was okay i think if i can't sell him i'll, I'll probably use the guy but the main players that i did say that i wanted to keep hold of it was Diego carlos it was edema to tell it was wan and Rashford. Those are the main players that I've still got. So I'm really, I'm, I'm not sure. Like I don't want to commit into a squad with the foot champ rewards coming up. Or sorry, uh, division rival rewards. I mean, foot champs, a little bit early for that. But it's now uh, Friday. It's coming. We've got a patch. And I don't know if the patch is going to be dropping tomorrow, which is going to be a bit of a shame. Like if you've been practicing on this build and then they drop a patch, they are known to do that. But let's... Go and see what rank we finished in. Was it rank three? If I can just get a really nice center mid. I, I, I don't really require someone that just has all out pace. I want a bit on the dribbling, a bit on the passing. I just want someone that is going to offer that balance. And I believe the 4-4-2 formation uh, with the way I was playing last night with the silver team is something that I will take into uh, the foot champs run. Uh, I've got a silver pack here. Oh, yeah, by the way, you wouldn't have seen it. I opened a silver pack uh, just to test the silver pack method, and I lost a 1,000 coins. Okay, so I, I think that over time, you might be able to make some profit because of the requirements that EA are asking for. And one thing, one bit of advice, is maybe you should keep hold of your silver team or sell it on now in the hype and then repurchase it because those objectives are going to get asked quite a bit and the bronze team maybe get ready your bronze team uh if ea are going to be continuing with this but damn we've got a nice we've got a nice little mini pack opening what i will do is i'll start with the mega packs and then i'll go over to the 75 pluses but rashford alongside who like i'm trying to get rid of richardson right now i don't know he's just not my kind of player um unfortunately and, and having said that i know that i was using who was it uh cavallini i think that's his name, that striker uh, that I bought, 85 Parejo. Like, these are good cards. I'm not going to say that. They're good cards, but they're not good enough. Like, I've got to wait for an SBC. I've got Hee Chan. There you go. I've already got his uh, one to watch. Come on. Is that going to be a board? Um, would a board be Wijnaldum? Don't give me the same player. It's CDM. It's, it's Rodri. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rodri, what stats you got? 65 pace. Uh, 82 defending. 82 defending ain't bad, but as a centre mid and a 4-4-2, I don't know about that. But good good rating. Grealish there. Uh, De Jong. Nyom. That's Johnny. Nyom. Oh, it's Alan. I, I'm not going to leave my division rival rewards without packing something for our team. It's just not, not right, EA. Uh, how long have we been playing the game? I don't know. We've uploaded already 15 episodes. And 15 days have gone by and I haven't pulled something that I need or want. So, come on. Sort us out. Sort us out. One. One player. If it's not from here, from the other packs. Is that a board? Uh, I'm not really sure the tail still. Um, he doesn't look bad. A bit slow. Maybe play him as a middle cam. But really what we're after 
is just two center mids. Um, left mid, mm, I don't know. I think we can continue using uh, Philippe Anderson. I think he'd be okay there. We just need two center mids. Or should I keep hold of Fred? I don't think I've sold him yet. Oh, what is this? Goal kit. Oh, from Assyria. Yeah, I haven't sold Fred. Maybe just continue to use him alongside... Oh, I'd love Wijnaldum. Fred and Wijnaldum in the 4-4-2. I, I might be able to afford it. I don't know. Depends who I pack and then I can sell some of the tradable players on. Oh, no. Do you know what would be sick? If I pulled an untradable Rashford. That would change the account right now. That would be 160,000 coins if I pulled a Rashford. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Uh, Diaby? Oh, no, not him. Not him. He can't He can't hit the target to save his life. He's got a woeful finish. But it comes down to this, boys. Three rare mega packs. You get this for finishing in rank two, division one. So, surely they're decent. Uh, what are the quality of these packs? Well, like 55. Are they 55k packs? All right, here we go, boys. Rare Mega Pack. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on, EA. Walkouts. At least one walkout. What is that? Don't do me dirty. Yes. Belgium striker. Belgium cam. What? No, 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 no. Yes. Come on. Come on. High tie work rate. Kevin De Bruyne. Or Kevin De Bruyne. Or Kevin De Bruyne. How do, you, how do you say his name? I say Kevin De Bruyne. Oh my. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh man. I've never been so happy to pack somebody like him. Centre mid 4-4-2. Up and down the pitch. To destroy it with his passing and dribbling. <laughs> yes. Oh my. Oh that's insane. I told you. Untradeable rewards boys. Rare mega packs. Maybe they are good this year. Oh I've even got iron. Oh, Iron Robin, I've even got him. The legend, Shakiri, not bad. But Kevin De Bruyne, untradeable. He's got a bit of pace. Uh, I'll stick on the Shadow Kim style that I pulled. I think that would be really, really good for him in the 4 4 2. That passing is just. Oh my, we've actually just gone and pulled. Not only a walkout, but one of the best walkouts. Kevin De Bruyne and five star weak foot, four star skills. Yes! Come on! And, and you know what the good thing about that is? Um, blue. Oh, what? What's blue then? What's what's blue inside the pack? Mena, no, 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 he ain't blue. Have I got a UCL card? <laughs> Yo, Luke Shaw might be all right. Urzel. Uh, who's the blue card? E Chan. <laughs> EA, what have you done? You trolled me. But rare mega pack. Come on, boys. Come on. Here we go. Another walkout would just be outrageous behavior. And it's not. But I've got to be happy with what I've just poured. Canales. Oh, I was supposed to try him. He looks like a good cam. I don't know if I would want to play him center mid. Oh, no. That's no. That's a good thing. That's actually a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. It's a shame he isn't tradable, so I could sell him for 20,000, 25,000. But I've already listed him up on the market, so I've made coins. So we still get to keep our striker if we want to continue with that build with Richarlison and Rashford up top. And then with KDB just behind, surely he's going to be able to find those passes with ease. Bully, I can't stop packing. I don't want him in my pack. But Richarlison, yeah, I'll sell the other one for like 20, 24,000. Catalyst Chemstar, love that. And so many... So many dupes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna discard these guys. I'm just gonna leave them here for a bit. So right now we are sitting on at forty-two thousand, and I have this man Richarlison still to sell. So what's that? He's gonna go for about twenty-four. So what? Sixty-six, sixty-seven eventually. So sixty-six thousand coins. I've already sold Zaha, and for good reason. One, he doesn't get into the starting eleven. Second of all, I don't really want to use him. And looking at this build. It just looks so much better. Now, before we get carried away, we've got De Bruyne off chemistry. We've got Rashford off chemistry. I don't know who the hell I would use in the right back position. So maybe this isn't really the best theme and team to go for. 
But with what I can sell, like I, I really want to get wan in the starting 11 because he is good quality. He's a very, very nice right back on this game, and he's valued at 30,000. I've got Lorente that's 10K. I've got Fred that's 30, and another 10,000 coins in Jal Felix. So if I was to add all of that up and add it onto the uh, 40,000 or 66,000 that I'd eventually receive if Richarlson sells, I'd be able to afford Raheem Sterling. He's on the market for, how much is he? 126,000 coins. Now, it might seem a little bit expensive to be paying as much as that for Sterling when he's just being played as a left mid, but with the chemistry that he offers De Bruyne, the chemistry that he offers to Rashford, it is pretty much perfect for this 4-4-2 setup. But then, my whole team suffers because I wouldn't be able to afford Mertens, I'd barely be able to afford like nine goal line, and then I wouldn't know what to do with this right-hand side. So I'm a little bit stuck. Obviously, Kevin De Bruyne is a 100% starter. There's no ifs, those buts, no maybes. He's in the team and he's going to carry it. That's a really, really nice pull. But the problem that comes with that is how do I get him into this side? Do I just go for something standard and bring in um, uh, Jesus at striker? Has he come down? Um, if he's come down, I don't mind paying like... 40, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know if I want to pay 40 for him. He's not bad. He's, he's not amazing, but he's he's good on the ball. And he's got an okay shot. 40, 56. I mean, I could afford that though. 56,000. Jesus and Rashford up top. I mean, he's got a little bit of passing. His dribbling is there. He's finishing 87 attack positioning. He looks like a good card. And then instead of going for Sterling, it saves coins and we go for Felipe Anderson. And then it also allows De Bruyne on full chemistry. So I think for what we have right now in our budget, I think that's clever. I, I don't I don't believe that 50 or 60,000 coins is a decent purchase for, for a Jesus. But for what we are after, I think it should be okay. Now, ideally, I want to bring in someone like a nine goal. And if I'm going to be running De Bruyne in the midfield, who's going to be up and down the pitch and really helping support the play, alongside him, I need that defensive quality. And I think nine goal would be awesome. I don't know if Fred is, is the man uh, to be playing alongside De Bruyne. I really, I just can't see it. Uh, it helps chemistry to Rashford, though. It does help chemistry to Rashford. Shall I, shall I just try it with these two? Um, and then somehow get wan back into this team. I don't even know how, how to get wan in. Who's a, who's a right mid? An English right mid. Uh, or, or just start it like that and then bring in a striker who can play as a right mid in the 4-4-2. Um, not sure. But that looks quite strong. That does look like a pretty decent team. In goal, it can be whoever from the La Liga. I might even invest in an Oblak or someone that has very, very good quality in between in between the sticks. So Lorente will be sold. Uh, Jal Felix is going to have to be sold to free up the coins. So I can just about afford um, Jesus with the coins from the Richardson sale. And then if I sell that stuff there and, and a few other cards that I have at the club, I might be able to get together like 25,000. So 25,000 for a right mid that's English in the Premier League. Like, who, who is there? I don't even think there there are any, like, good right wingers. It has to be English, or it has to be someone from... Oh, God. Murphy? Uh, it has to be someone from England or Man United. Oh, oh. Greenwood, though. And then play Greenwood striker? Nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. Whatever we put together later today in tomorrow's episode, that will be our Foot Champs starting 11. And it's Foot Champs tomorrow. So uh, I wish you guys luck if you're going to be playing in the morning. I wish myself some luck because I'm going to need it. But thank you very much for watching today's video. Can we get a like for Kevin De Bruyne in a pack? Let's go. Leave a like and I will see you boys tomorrow. Don't be late. 4 p.m. start. Take care. Team out. Peace.